Tell us what you're nominated for for the Be the Skiers Grammys. Uh, this year I'm nominated for uh, two for Katy Perry. She has a she best album. Um, the second for Katy Perry is best pop vocal album. Uh, one for best pop vocal album, Justin Bieber. Uh, one for the theme song for Avatar, uh, for Grammy for that, and also Rihanna's Only Girl, Best Dance Recording. Um, yeah, I'm move this back. So, how did it feel when you found out that you were nominated for so many in so many different fields? Excited. Excited. I was very excited to know that I was nominated for all these different fields uh, because it, it helps to go towards just solidifying or just... Uh, just putting a stamp on all the work that we put in. Like I spent a lot of time in a lot of studios throughout the year, so it's just great to be acknowledged in that sense. Now, I mean, are you actively pushing yourselves in each of these different directions, or did it just sort of like come together? Like you know, that? it comes together. Like it, it all started with uh, being a co-writer and a producer of Umbrella for Rihanna um, years ago, several years ago, and from there just springboard, and then also just me just. Uh, continue to get better at what I do as a vocal producer, as a songwriter. You know, it just continues, people just start to come back all the time. So tell me what the difference is uh, working with songwriter, or, so working with one of the various R&B or pop artists you do versus working with someone like James Horner, right? Uh -huh, or, yep. For Avatar. Yep. Well, the, it's a huge difference because the pace is completely different. Uh, working with a superstar artist, the pace is really quick uh, because most of the time the superstar artists don't have a lot of time so when they get in the studio they may have an hour, an hour and a half to get a, a full vocal done. Uh, but with, with working with somebody like James Horner and the movie side of it, it's the pace is a little bit slower. Like when we worked on Avatar, we had we worked on the record probably like five, six months. So we had time to make sure that we crafted the lyric properly, make sure to fit the story of the film and all that stuff. So is it, uh, does it feel different writing for for an artist with his or her distinct personality versus writing for like a giant blue character in you know, the film? I mean, I guess it wasn't like the theme song. Right, for right, right. right. Person, it, no, it was pretty much different. It was pretty much the same. Not a huge difference because you're still trying to evoke the same emotion. Uh, you're tr still trying to hit the same thing. You're trying to craft a, a hit lyric um, so that the song can have a life outside of the movie. So, who so far, like, this this uh, roster of Grammy nominations, like, what was the most fun project for you to work on? The most fun project this partic this year, I would say, was Rihanna. And tell me why. By far. Be First of all, because we cut the album on the road. She was uh, on her world tour. Uh, we cut the album. Like, I got an opportunity to see her do a show every single night. Um, it was great to see her perform Umbrella, being a co-writer, and see just see thousands of people sing that record you know, at the end of her show. And the other thing was like it was a, the pace, watching her do the show, watching her come and record a record at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then get up back on her bus and go to the next city, and then we just did this for several months. You know? so okay. That was very exciting. So, last question for now. Okay. Um, what, what thus far has ASCAP meant for you and your career? What this far has ASCAP meant to my career? And it's been great. It's, it's taught me a lot. You know, being being a part of ASCAP, first of all, just collecting funds for us. You know, all over the world. Um, that's that's incredible. You know, we're definitely thankful for that as writers um, to ASCAP, and also just giving me an education that music is the, the industry is way bigger than what we see in the studio. You know, and that our music is being represented and. And collected upon, collected for worldwide. Yeah. Awesome.